Welcome to my channel. I'm Jiang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 21, chapter 5. This is a following up problems for the problem 20. And then still we have two boxes, A and B, on this slope. And then we need to find its acceleration in this system and the tension between its axis in two situations. The first one is the coefficient mu a is smaller than mu b. The second one is the coefficient mu a is larger than mu b. So in this one, first we look at this, this situation. If mu a is smaller than mu b, what will happen? Basically, for these two box, and if we have the math, we have the, for object A, we have gravity, right? And then we have the normal force. Then if we just, in first situation, we consider the tension. And also we consider the friction. And then in this one, because the gravity is pointing down, so we project this gravity in S component and in Y component. So we have mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. Then look at this object B. We have the gravity, normal force. And also we have the friction and the tension. So in this one, still we project the gravity in S component and the Y component. So you can see, on this one, if we consider the mu A is smaller than mu B. So mu A is smaller than mu, mu B, what does that mean? Means the friction for A is smaller than the friction for B. Do you agree? Yes. And the, the tension is, um, if this A is smaller than B, that means what? That means the A and the B, the tension must exist. So there must be the tension between them, each other because A is smaller than B. So A has more tendency to move down. See? And because the, the friction A is smaller than B, so for look at the B, the B, this FB is larger, so it have more tendency to not move down, right? So you can see the A have more tendency to move down, B will less likely to move down, so make there must be the tension. So this cover will be just uh, um, act as a force, FT, on the object A and B. Do you agree? Yes. So this is the first one. So we can write Newton's second law at there. In this one, we can see for object A in Y component, we have normal force minus the gravity cosine theta equals zero. And then the X component is mag sine theta minus the tension, minus the friction equals mass times acceleration. And also this friction equals the coefficient times the normal force, right? And then we can just input this normal force inside. We can get this equation look like this one. And the second one, we look at this object B. For B, we can look at the Y component. We have the normal force minus the gravity equals zero. And also look at X component. We have mg sine theta plus the tension minus the friction equals the uh, mass times the acceleration. Then still we can write the fraction for B as the coefficient times the normal force. And then we can get this equation. So you can see in these two equations, uh, the mass, a and B are given, angle theta is given, and the coefficient is given. So you can find the tension and the acceleration very easily. So this is situation A. In, in this equation, you can find acceleration and the tension easily. Uh, in this one, because the mu A is smaller than mu B, so A has more tendency to move down, so make the couple must act as a tension between each other. The second one, what if the mu A is larger than mu B? So in this one, we can say, if the mu A is larger than mu B, what will happen? So if mu A is larger, so that means the friction is larger. Do you agree? So this one will larger. And then the friction for B will be smaller. See, this one. So that makes the, uh, the object A, because the friction is larger, so it has more tendency not to move down. It just uh, stays there. Agree? And then because the, for B, the friction is smaller, so it has more tendency to move down. See, you can see A and B are more likely to close to each other. Make that the tension on this uh, cable will disappear because this uh, cable will become loose. See, because they will just uh, more tendency to move close to each other. This one, right? So this one, if mu A, then we can consider the equation for this one. For this one, we can write equations because there is no tension. So we have gravity, normal force, 
and the friction. So we project this gravity at x component and y component for object A. And then the second one, we consider object B, we have the gravity. We have the normal force fraction, and we project the gravity onto component A, x component, and B, and y component. See, in this one, because there is no tension, so we can write Newton's second law in the A and B, right? First, we look at object A. For object A, we can see at the y component, we have normal force minus the gravity equals zero. And then at the x component, M, the ma sine theta minus the friction equals mass A times acceleration. And then the friction can be read as a coefficient mu k A times the normal force, right? In this one, then, you can solve the acceleration for A. The second time, same, very, very similarly, we look at the y component. We have a normal force mnb minus mg cosine theta equals zero. And then look at the x component. We have mg sine theta minus the normal force equals mb times acceleration. And then the friction is the coefficient times the normal force. And then we solve these three equations. We find this acceleration b. In this one, you can say because acceleration a and acceleration b are not same, uh, it depends on the angle theta and also depends on the coefficient mu. In this one, because there the cable between them is just a loose, so we can consider this is just a two object. We cannot consider them together, so the acceleration is different, right? Because this is a second situation. The second situation, mu a is larger than mu b. In this one, we consider because this two object has a tendency to move closer. So in this one, they are not connected because the cable become loose. So we need to just list the equations and solve the acceleration separately. But for the first one, if the mu a is smaller than mu b, so they have a tendency to move far away. When this a and b move far away, the, there must be tension on this cable. So make it, we consider A and B can have the same acceleration. Thank you.